Now that I'm connected to the Collop eMark Create app, let me show you around. So this is the eMark Connect page. The highlighted icons show me that the app is connected. So I am connected, I have 87% ink and 26% battery. Now talking about the battery, once that gets to 25 or below, the green light, as it's showing here, will be amber. So that's a strong indication that your eMark will need charging. So I'm just going to plug mine in now because I can still work with it connected. So Q page. So if I click on the Q, this shows me everything that actually I have queued up. And if, say, for example, I know that I just want to print these four, I'll pop them into my queue and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. So I'm just going to click on send in print to eMark. That beep beep always indicates that the eMark has received the imprint. Now if you watch what happens to each imprint as I print, each imprint will be highlighted. As you can see there, And that has printed all the imprints that's actually in that queue. So going back, you can also create new from this page just by clicking on the plus sign there. But I'm going to go into my drop down box for my menu and I'm going to click on settings. So in your settings, halfway down, you'll see my eMark. So click on my eMark. And also click on my eMark at the top here. You will notice there that we've got information about the eMark. That loading is perfectly normal. That is just updating any information. There's your firmware 2007-0200, which is up to date. Every time that you are prompted to do a firmware update, please do click on OK with this. So looking down the page, you've got eMark sound. We recommend that you always keep that on as those beeps are very important. Now you can see that they have um, on here, we have um, eMark Wi-Fi channel. Mine is currently on 11, but if I just click on that, the default is six. So when you open yours and connect it, it will be on six. But if you look at this roll down box that we have here in the grey section below, you can choose from channel 1 to 11. That means, let's say for example you are out and about at a craft fair and you are wanting to be using your eMark but there is an, inter an interruption in the connection due to there being a lot of Wi-Fi activity, you can choose from 1 to 11 Wi-Fi channels. So I use channel 11 because I know that that's good for me here at home. Once you've made any changes, always click done and always click save. So I'm happy with everything on there. I'm now going to um, just click on done. And if you see at the bottom here, we got quick cleaning. Again, the default for that is 50. If you find out, for example, that um, you're not getting the crisp imprints that you really want, um, you can change that by moving the cursor up and down. So you can have it as little as 50 or as much as 150. You'll get really, really crisp imprints there. But I wouldn't recommend you use that because you will find that you're using your um, ink much quicker. So, um, 50 should be adequate. The sleep mode, that is default three, that's three minutes. That means after three minutes, your eMark will go to sleep. If that does happen, all you need to do is simply pick your eMark up out of its base and pop it back down again, and that will wake it up. If, however, you decide that you don't want it to be on three minutes and that you know you're going to be doing a piece of work that's going to last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you have the option of changing that. 
Again, once you've made a change here, always click save. Now, because I use mine all the time, all day, every day, I'm going to save mine on zero. That means that my eMark will never go to sleep. So I'm just going to go back here, go back into my settings, my eMark. And again, I'm going to click on my eMark at the top here. And as you can see, it's actually, once it's done its loading, you'll see that it's saved it to zero. Once that's finished, there we go. So my eMark will never go to sleep unless I turn it off at the back. Or rather underneath. Right, let's just go back again. And now we're going to go to new imprint. This is really exciting for the eMark Create. As you can see, we have several categories for you to choose from. Each category contains lots of templates. So you can choose one of these templates, you can use it, or you can, um, if you want to, you can decide to edit it. How do you do that? Simply click on that, and then these bars at the bottom, these functions are all for you to use. So I've clicked on it and I've highlighted the thank you. You can see it's got a green box around it. That means I can change the font by clicking on font. So I can change that too. I can also change the colour by clicking on the colour. There are lots and lots and lots of different colour shades on here. You can choose one of these or if you have a specific number code that you wish to use, it's just here that you pop that in. So I'm just going to change that to red. You can also scale it by clicking on scale. Make it bigger or smaller. But as long as that imprint stays in that box, it will print. Now you notice I've got my finger on it here, so I can move it around. As long as I've got my finger inside that box, I can move it around. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to print it. It's asking me to clear the print queue. So you just click on OK. And now it's sending the imprint to the eMark. Remember that beep beep, eMark has received. And there I have my imprint. Okay, so we also have in here, just going to go back, my imprints. So these are all the imprints that you have created. So any imprint that you have saved or any imprint that you have sent to the eMark will be in here. So I'll just go back. And also I'm just gonna go back into new imprint. In this box here, it says that you have accessory templates. So if I just click on here, you've got shows you that there's the label sizes, um, also shows you that the labels and the ribbon, and also the wristbands. I will also show you a few other accessories which we have available now a little later.